Well, Anae, it seems like this year, this spring, we have had more than our fair share of rain. Absolutely, and we are starting off June, which many people consider the beginning of summer. We're starting off with a lot of rain as well. We've been seeing it across the area this morning, and looking outside live in Albertville, you can see those raindrops on the tower cam. But on top of that, if you look closely, you can kind of see the camera shaking a little bit every now and then, and that's because not only are we dealing with some rain, but we also have some wind gusts. So sustained winds, they're a little on the calmer side around around seven miles per hour in some spots, but we have seen gusts 24 to 28 miles per hour so far this morning. That's another thing that you'll have to keep in mind going throughout our day. But later through the afternoon, we could see some wind gusts that are even stronger than that, as we are seeing a level one out of five risk for severe weather. Now, the greatest risk is far out towards our west, so we're not seeing a chance for widespread damage or anything like that. Just a potential that maybe a thunderstorm or two could get strong enough to have some strong wind gusts and warrant a quick severe thunderstorm warning. That's something that you'll want to keep in mind today. That's why today is going to, uh, going to be a caution day for those afternoon storms. But tomorrow, we're even going to see some showers as you wake up and head to church. And then for Monday, still going to see some scattered showers. So you want to be cautious, stay weather aware, because we will be seeing conditions very similar to what we have right now. So the Way 31 triple Doppler showing lots of showers out there in the area. It's raining here in Huntsville. It's raining across the I-65 corridor, especially over in Sand Mountain as well. We've been seeing that, and it's coming across the Mississippi border. We're going to give some of us some more of that this afternoon. So if we look at that day planner, several hours, we're going to see lots of those showers, and then towards the afternoon, even some storms. So 12 p.m., 4 p.m., starting to see some more of those lightning strikes. The chance for that severe weather is going to be around the afternoon and then in the evening hours still seeing some of that rain. But one good thing is that it's keeping us on the cooler side. 75 degrees when to be that high. So we're looking at the next several hours on future radar. Still seeing that rain across the area. Lunchtime, definitely want to have some of those plans indoors. Don't be eating lunch outside. We're going to see cloudy skies at best, but some heavy rainfall if you're in the Shoals area. And that will, of course, continue to move east across the area. Here's those isolated thunderstorms that I was telling you about. Some of these could have, they could pack a punch, have some gusty winds. And then heading into the evening hours, still seeing some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. They're even going to last into the first part of your Sunday, 8 and 10 a.m., seeing a little bit of that rainfall. But the good news is things start to dry out towards Sunday afternoon and for sunset could even see some sunny conditions. And the afternoon high is going to be warmer than today due to that. It's going to be warming to around 82, 83 degrees for tomorrow. Those are comfortable temperatures. But heading into our next work week, things are going to feel a lot different. If we look at that muggy meter, it's looking going to be oppressive next week, that heat at times. And if you look at that 10-day forecast, you can see why. Way 31 Storm Tracker 10-day forecast showing lots of chances for rain for our next work week. But it's also going to be hot with those temperatures in the upper 80s combined with the humidity from those showers. Definitely going to feel like summer next week.